Inside Investigators, August brings a close to Tualatin's largest ever redevelopment project, Tualatin Commons. And the city's central urban renewal district sunsetted over the weekend, which means funding to complete the development's central piece, a bell tower, also ends. As on your side, investigator Tom Jensen reports now, even though the city already used taxpayer money to buy four huge bronze bells, those bells may never toll. There's the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa. And London has the world-renowned clock tower, Big Ben. But the bell tower of Tualatin? It's a tower you may never see in person, even though the city's already spent $150,000 on this architect's drawing and these bells. The final piece to draw people to this project was never constructed. It's more than just the $150,000, though, for at least one city council member. Well, it was the centerpiece for a multi-million dollar uh, central urban renewal redevelopment project. The centerpiece of Tualatin Commons, a project with a mix of offices, restaurants, shops, and condos that cost taxpayers more than $12 million. I had no idea this entire project was here. No. But if that tower was there, what, 75 feet tall, 80 feet tall, however it was supposed to be, you could see that tower from the freeway, you could see it from 12th and Sherwood Road, you could see it from Boone's Ferry and Martinazzi. It, would be, it, it was designed to be a visual attractor so that you'd look over and say, well, I wonder what's over there. Let's go check that out. You add to that the Crawfish Festival, and it's... It's just incredible. It's just packed. Tualatin's mayor says it was all about money. The city just couldn't afford the final cost, anywhere from 800000 to $1 million. The council and the commission, which is the same body, have always believed in don't spend more than you make. One of the reasons why we don't have an $800,000 bell tower, frankly. Mayor Lou Ogden says the city prides itself in running lean and mean. So why does it have bells that were completed seven years ago, but still no tower? I think a lot of people, though, will look at this and say this is a classic example of putting the cart before the horse. Yeah, well, I mean... I mean, why have bells cast before there's a building? The other thing you could say, a million dollars for a bell tower? Are you kidding me? And so plans to build the tower have been on and off the shelf since 2003. The bells have been stored here at the city's operation yard ever since then. They've been doing nothing more than collecting dust. And in a city that runs lean and mean like Tualatin does, people here wonder if the bell tower will ever be built. The taxpayer, I can imagine you'd like to see him at least use those bells for yeah, something. If they least, yes, for something. Oh, that's a shame. Sort of a waste of money, isn't it? It just sounded like not a very well thought out use of money. They spent uh, $150,000 on this and they built... And then they didn't build anything. Right. Seems like a huge waste of money and yeah. time. I would spend 800000 I would spend a million, too. I would finish this project and create what we set out to accomplish. City Council Member Ed Truax says a number of businesses in the Commons have failed, and he says he believes if the tower was built, they would have made it. Because he says with that visual landmark in the middle of the Commons, it would have drawn all these people in from I-5 and from Tualatin and Sherwood Road. And I can tell you, I've driven past there mm -hmm. dozens and dozens of times. I had no idea the Commons were even there. Mm -hmm. It is a beautiful area once you do get over there. But you can see this is one of those stories that just drives people nuts. Yeah. It really does. Taxpayer wasted money. Yeah. Thank you, Tom.